The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888 253 3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Soon Alex Jones here back live. A few more minutes with our guests, and I'm going to give the number out and take your calls on the Russia situation, which is off the charts. I'll be back this Sunday, Lord willing, 4 to 6 p.m. live with the Sunday transmission. But... There's a clip from Conan the Barbarian written by Oliver Stone. The second one's really cheesy. The first one's really good. Where Thuls of Doom uh, you know, is going around doing all these bad things. And a local king, played by Max von Sydow, calls in Conan. And he says, there comes a time in your life you don't care about money. You don't care about power anymore. All you care about is justice and the future of your children. Here's everything I've got. Just go kill Thuls of Doom. And my whole life, I didn't like bullies. My, I'm, not, I'm not some hero, folks. But, I mean, I, I grew up going to public school and watch, you know, by sixth grade, kids three years older than I was beating up kids, and I'd stand up for them, and I got beat up a lot. But then I learned how to fight back and just from, sh you know, just, just sheer attrition. And, I mean, I take it personal they say my kids belong to them on MSNBC. And they say they're coming with forced inoculations in the news today. I take it personal they're setting up world government. I take it personal they want to teach kids 2 plus 2 equals 5. That's evil. That's all I want. 
I'd do anything to not have the mainline neocons attack me. I'd do anything to not have the MSNBC people be so evil and lie to their viewers. And Al Sharpton, the FBI operative. But notice, there's good FBI guys exposing evil. There's bad ones. It's all good and bad, good and evil. And Joseph Ferrer in the final equation, I was talking to you in the break, and I realized this lately. The problem with Ron Paul, the problem with WorldNet Daily, Matt Drudge, InfoWars, WorldNet Daily, any of us is, we're not narcissists. We really do want to fight the evil. We, we're not perfect, but we really want justice in the future. That's what matters. We're really creeped out and freaked out by it. I know you are. I've met you in person. But then we never point out how big we are or how epic it is or that we are literally up against this evil takeover. I get chills. I can't believe I'm in this position. Uh, my show's unlistenable half the time. <laughs> I, I mean, literally, it's like, why me? And I know you probably, do you ever think that? But at the same time, we just got to be honest with listeners and say, listen, we're in the ring, ladies and gentlemen, with some evil. You better financially support us and spread the word about us. Because as Jim Garrison said in the JFK investigation, why was he still alive when 200 were killed? He said, because I stay in the spotlight. What is your comment on that? And, and I mean, how epic this is. I mean, when I'm saying these things to you, I want the audience to know how real this is. Do you disagree with what I'm saying or are you getting chills like I am? I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. And, and, and here, you know, look, uh, you know, I don't want to talk about, you know, my character. I, you know, but here's what I'm, my motivations are the same as yours. Do I want to. Uh, get rich and get out and, you know, live in a castle and isolate myself as the world goes down the tubes. No, I've had that opportunity, Alex. I've had that opportunity and said no to it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to save this country. I want to, you know, I want to, you know, promote liberty. I want to, you know, get us back to the, the principles that, you know, found, where this country was founded upon. That's real. That's what, that's what I want to do. And, you know, and I guess I'll never be able to retire. I guess I'll never be able to sit back and just, you know, take it easy and enjoy uh, the fruits of all the hard labor that I've put in. I'm, I'm not whining here. I'm telling you, and I know that you share these motivations uh, with me. Uh, you can tell who does and who doesn't very easily. I won't go into the criteria you use. But, um, <clears throat> look, why do I come on the air and stand up for Gary Aldrich, who right now, you know, it looks to me like conservatives out there are running as far away from this guy because he lost his tax exempt. Or Dinesh uh, D'Souza, you stood. None of them stand up for D'Souza. It's the same thing. They want to pick us off one at a time, Alex. That's the way. That's the way they operate. That's the way the Stalinist left operates. That's why they use the IRS to go after people. The most feared agency that gets stopped. Everyone should time. stand up and say, try to audit me instead of like, like we're gazelles and a lion just grabbed uh, Gary Aldrich. So we just let him eat him. Right. I mean, I, you know, I've known Gary Aldrich a long time. I don't think he's not like a you know buddy I go out to dinner with. But when I see him under attack, I say, well, that could just as easily be me. And that could just as easily be, you know, Alex Jones or Matt Drudge. Or if they want to get you, they can get you. And that's the that's what they know, and that we need to understand. And what we want to do is we want to level the playing field. We, you know, they talk about equality. That's what we want. We want to be treated the same, equally, not to have different standards for exactly. left wingers and right wingers. And if we and if we collapse in fear now, which you've not done and others haven't done, they get everybody. Don't folks get when you give in to evil and bullies and tyrants, then they get everyone. You get prosperity by standing against them. A nation of sheep will be ruled by wolves. Thomas Jefferson, I can't wait to have you in studio next week, Joseph Farah. Final mini question. I know you got another meeting to go to. Mm -hmm. What does your gut tell you? My gut tells me, and also the political evidence shows, if they were scared of you 20 years ago, and now look what we've done, it's a battle. We're holding them back on so many fronts. We're getting ready to beat them, not by tyranny, but by sheer cultural truth. We have our own cultural revolution against their Maoist one. We are, they know we're beating them. That's why they're coming in with the Empire Strikes Back endgame. So we've got to have maximum courage, maximum honor, 
and, and let the audience know, like the Alamo falling, that defeat became the big victory for Texas. Just like a lot of defeats for George Washington became victories because they persevered. We've got to have folks ready to know that, that, that we're in the game big time and we're starting to win. That's why they're doing this. Do, do you agree with that statement? Totally agree. Couldn't agree more. And uh, Alex, uh, you know, for a long time, when I started the uh, World Net Daily, for years, I, I thought to myself, you know, I wonder why nobody else is doing this. I wonder why nobody else is seeing, hey, oh, we're having a modest degree of success here. Why isn't anybody joining the fray? Finally, after, you know, many years, there have been you know, info wars and the Breitbart's and the Daily Callers, and, you know, Glenn Beck, you know, there, now we have some other folks out there joining us, and we got to make sure that we don't split hairs with them. The other side wants to have a united front. Where's our united front? I totally agree. We talk about this every time on the phone or on air, and Savage is doing that. Good for him. I mean, the, the attacks, and I'm not going to bring it up, it's just Beck saying that, quote, I want a violent revolution and a civil war when I say the opposite, that I'm a racist covering up for Bundy. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe you're right. Maybe he's just doing it out of fear, but it doesn't matter. I'm being thrown under the bus here, and, 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 and it's very creepy, and I'm just glad that you're an honorable person, Joseph Farah. Look forward to seeing you uh, next week, and I'm glad you're not a coward. All right, man. God bless. Thank you. There goes Joseph Farah of WND.com. We already had him coming on about... Um, about these Clinton files, you know, target him, destroy him, bring him down. And, uh, you know, it's come out a few years ago that I'm on the enemy's list. And, man, they've done stuff to me I'm not even going to get into. It's just like you too, Beck. It's like Caesar with Brutus. You too? You too? I mean, I don't deserve this. And, and, and I expect it from Rachel Maddow, you know? And I'm sick of it. I mean, these people are evil. Evil, evil. We cannot compromise with them. We cannot negotiate with them because it's all done in bad faith. And the mainline liberals out there are good people. I'm not saying go follow George Bush and Dick Cheney. I'm saying the Democratic Party right now with Obama is taking over everything and trying to end the Republican Party. If the Democratic Party was being extincted, I would be against it. We need three parties, four parties, not one. If, if, if Bush would have had his Justice Department arrest Michael Moore, even though I don't like Moore who's anti-gun, I would have run around like a chicken with my head cut off like I did with Dinesh D'Souza. When the left is persecuted, I stand up against it. Because I'm not about left and right, folks. I'm about constitution, common sense. And because I'm real organically, and the system knows I'm real, they got everything tapped, they are scared of me. Look, man, I'm just scared you guys are going to win and destroy everything. I don't want to fight with the New World Order. I've got to fight you, though, because I cannot join with evil. I physically can't do it. I physically, when somebody's choking, I go help them. We got a report we're going to go into overdrive and play that hadn't even aired on the Nightly News yet, where... Um, John Bowne saw a naked guy running down the road uh, on his Prozac or whatever and helped him. People thought that was weird. They tried to help him. He saw a lady's car on fire. She was standing right next to it. He pulled over and said, get away from your car. People called him a control freak. It's the new virtues caring about nobody. Well, I don't want to live in a family like that. I, I don't want to be around people like that. I don't, I don't understand all this. I don't understand dishonorable people. I saw a video in uh, New York with a bunch of black folks on a bus. I meant to do a piece on it. My buddy Pat sent it to me. It's on my phone, guys. I want you to get it. And, and this thug is, is starting to harass two old black people on canes, a man and his wife in suits and a nice dress on the bus. And this big, big guy is like threatening him for no reason. And then a little black guy gets up. And he's about two-thirds the guy's side. It looks like he's about 45 years old and beats up this young thug. As soon as he pushes the old man, this guy gets up and goes up and beats him up. And I just love that video. Not the beating up part, but how just the good guy absolutely stomps that thug's butt in the ground. And that's the spirit that's going to save our society. Because if I see somebody push an old man for no reason, I'm going to stomp their head in the ground. And when I'm in the right, nobody can, it's very hard to beat me. And it's the same thing for you out there who are good. 
You see some, I don't want to get in a fight, but I see somebody starting to beat up an old man or an old lady. Every punch I throw is going to knock your teeth out and break your nose because I'm in the right.